Okay. Om again, Timidanda Syad Gedal Janal Salakaya, Taksu Un Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurveda Maha, Shri Chaitanya Mano Bistam Stati Tam Yena Bhutala, Swayam Mupa Gedam Mayam Dadati Swam Bhutati Kam, Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale, Shri Bhakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamine Namaste Saraswati Deve, Dove Dani Pacharine, here we say, Sun Yavari, Kastyat Yere, Sukari, Vancha Kalpa, Tarupas Cha. Ripa Sindhu, Vayeva Cha, Putitanam, Pavane, Bio, Vaishnava, Bio, Namahona Maha. Jai Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu, Nityananda, Sri Advaita, Gadadana, Srivas, Sadigor, Bhakta Vindam. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. One minute. Uh, uh, Nittai. Anyone? Bhakti Vatsal. Uh, one minute, I'll be right back. So for the uh, final day, we'll explore the remaining points in the verse. Uh, the first day we spoke about humility, at least to some degree. None of these topics can be extensively covered in the time that we have. But we're trying to get to the main points. And therefore, devotees should ask questions that may not be you know, covered in my talk that you find that are related to these topics, such as humility. Yesterday we spoke about tolerance. Now there's two more to go, and these two are combined. And again, one is about oneself, and the other one is about other people. <laughs> so again, one who thinks himself lower than the grass, who's more tolerant than the tree, who does not expect personal honor, but is always prepared to give all respects to others, very easily always can chant the holy names of the Lord. Amaninam, Amanina, Amanadena. So these two things being, there's pride, as the translation, transliteration gives, without being puffed up by false pride. And Manadena, giving respect to all. <laughs> so, um, generally for devotees, they don't struggle too much with the Manadena, giving respects to others. In fact, it's almost part of the social etiquette. Of course, no, not people, people don't follow it accordingly, but to some degree, the social etiquette dictates that we should be friendly and respectful to others. And that kind of overlaps with the principle of spiritual uh, activities. And that, of course, people give respect out of some social etiquette or out of some desire to gain something in that relationship. But devotees give respects to others because it's very easy. There's one main point that illustrates this mood of respect and that is Krishna sits in the heart of all living entities. So actually, according to scripture, when you're respecting others or giving respects to another person, you're respecting both that soul and the super soul of Krishna who is sitting in the heart. And that also plays itself out in the form of obeisances. When we offer obeisances to another devotee, we offer some obeisances to the Lord within the heart of that devotee or within the heart of that living entity. Mm -hmm. 
um, one who has spiritual vision, Vidya, Vinaya, Sampane, Brahmani, Kavihastini, Suni Chaiva, Swapake Cha, Pandita, Samadarshan. Samadarshan means equal vision. This verse is from the chapter of Bhagavad Gita. You can bring the verse up. It's the fifth gap chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Text number 18. Vidya Vinaya Sampane Brahmane Gavi Hastini Suni Chaiva Svapake Cha Pandita Samadarshan. The humble sage, by virtue of true knowledge, sees with equal vision a learned and gentle Brahmana, a cow, an elephant, a dog, and a dog eater outcast. And Prabhupada says, the Krishna conscious person doesn't make distinction between different species and castes. Although these different bodies may be different for transcendental who is learned, it becomes meaningless. This is due to seeing the Lord within the heart of all of the entities. And this is based on real knowledge. Therefore, he treats everyone equally as a friend and maintains his relationship with the Lord through worshiping and honoring, honoring others, not worshiping, but honoring others. The material world is a world of duality and distinction and, dis, and dissimilarations. Everyone is different. Everyone is on the material platform. Everyone focuses on the differences between each other. And they either feel happy or they feel unhappy because of meeting another person. But a Krishna conscious person is in full knowledge and doesn't make this bodily distinctions. Now that respect can, is given according to position, of course, but in general, what that means is that when they, another living entity is there, they see that this living entity is part and parcel of Krishna. <laughs> So that respect may come in the form of, in the mind, respecting that person in the mind, of course. When we come in contact with devotees who are senior to us, we offer that respect in the form of obeisances. Or we also find that obeisances applies to any devotee. We can offer obeisances to any devotee. We offer respects to the non-devotees, but we don't associate with them because that association is not beneficial to our devotional life, nor can we give any and gain anything. If we do associate with the non-devotees, the association takes the form of, of uh, compassion in order to give them an opportunity to come closer to Krishna. For devotional service. Otherwise, we're not interested in associating with the non devotees because that kind of association is, in any case, poison for our spiritual advancement. And that's one of the more dangerous traps of Maya to take us out of the association or to find, as to, as to inspire us to look for association outside of devotees. And therefore, that association will definitely bring you down unless you can bring them up. <laughs> okay, so uh, therefore, a devotee can give respects to others. <laughs> and uh, even we see Srila Prabhupada. Uh, one devotee came in the room when Srila Prabhupada, I think this was in Bhakti Vedanta Manor. Prabhupada was sitting alone. No one was there, this devotee came in and he sat and he didn't say anything. And then he noticed that Prabhupada was just gazing in one part of the room and he kept looking in that part, just looking, looking. 
And Prabhupada finally turned to the Bodhi and he says, you see? You see? And Prabhupada the boy said, no. You see that bug? Take him, pick him up and put him on a flower outside. Mm -hmm. So Prabhupada was concerned that there was a bug just sitting in his room. And therefore he wanted to give the bug a better place to be. So he told the devotee, put it on. So this is the nature of a, a pure soul. And they see that they treat everyone accordingly, equally. For those who are inimical, atheist, demoniac, we don't, we don't come close to them. But at the same time, we know that they are just poisoned by their own lifestyle. And therefore they are person non grata. Therefore, we still know that in their heart, there is Krishna. He's there, but hidden by their own ignorance. And we can give respects to all living entities accordingly. Um, then the other big one is Amanina, Amanina. That one's a little bit more difficult it's more easier to give respects to others than it is not to, to expect respect for yourself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a person will think, well, I'm giving respects. I should also get respect. And people, we want to be re respected by others. <laughs> it's just a, na a nature of the human being. But then Lord Chaitanya says, no, one should not be eager for respect. Those who have position, those who have wealth, those who have physical beauty, those who have good family connections. Uh, and of course, the list goes on. Janma, Aishwara, Shruti, Shribir, Edyavana. Mm -hmm. The different opulences that a person may have due to their karma, and because of that, they may become proud of that. One may be very attractive and develop a pride based on that. And one may be very wealthy and become proud of that. As it says in the uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, that there are different types of pride that one can develop. But the most binding and most strongest of all forms of pride is the pride of wealth. Mm -hmm. That doesn't allow one to become humble. If one becomes proud of being wealthy or having wealth. And that is the hardest one to get over. Mm -hmm. You find that's very rare that someone who is not trained in culture and in spiritual knowledge and has wealth at the same time cannot be actually truly prideless. So this um, pride, and pride is uh, translated, the word is madda, the Sanskrit word is madda, M-A-D-A, and madda actually translates into another word which is madness. It also means intoxication. So pride is a kind of madness and intoxication that the living entities develop due to their association with something outside of themselves. Or they may also have some abilities and become proud of that. But as Krishna says, rasoham apsakuntsaya pravasmi sasi suryaha pranava sarvavedishu sabdake purusham nishu Subdicate Purusham Neshu, Krishna says, I am the ability in all of the entities. So one who is in knowledge knows that Krishna is your is it whatever ability that person has, it's coming from Krishna. <laughs> and therefore, but the materialists, the non-devotees can't see that, nor can they even acknowledge that, even if they are told such things. Because they look, they say, well, I've done this, and I just because I've done this, this is why this is my situation. But pride is very, very uh, intoxicating. 
and it causes one to commit offenses to others. If one becomes proud, they develop this tendency to think themselves better than others. Uh, even in devotional circles, it can be like that. If one has proud of some achievements, proud of one's position, whatever the pride may be, it may cause one to look down upon others and that will cause one to commit offenses. In the Christian scriptures, it said pride cometh before the fall. So as soon as one becomes proud, in a matter of time, they fall out of their position, spiritual position. If they're proud materially, they may go on for some time because in the material world, to have some pride is considered to be something that one has worked for and it's considered a, a gain that people want to be. Mm -hmm. People become, well, I'm proud because I was born in America. I'm proud because I live in America. I'm proud because I'm born in India. I'm proud because my surname is a Brahmin. My surname is Josie, and therefore I'm a Brahmin. So, you know, we one can become very proud, pride, prideful due to something that's given to them or something that they've gained by way of their karmic cash. <laughs> pride is a symptom of false ego. Is there spiritual pride? Yes, there is. I'm proud that I am a devotee of Krishna. Not proud to become, a, I'm proud because I, I, I became, I received the mercy. We are, I'm proud of Krishna. Krishna is so great. So one has pride in Krishna or one has pride in one spiritual master like that. Pride generally in the material sense is a product of the lower modes of passion and ignorance. And again, we can find that pride is so easy to develop and so hard to indicate. A lot of times a person may be proud, but they don't think they're proud. One can be even proud of being humble. If one is humble, they think, well, I, I'm very humble. That's a form of pride. I'm so humble, I'm proud of it. <laughs> so that's another form of delusion that uh, one be can become proud even of the good qualities that one acquires by the mercy of Krishna through the execution of devotional service. Therefore, this part here, from, uh, not wanting respects from others, does not expect personal honor from others, is a very, it's very hard for people to adopt that. But through practice, and of course, through chanting the holy names of the Lord, and to giving respects to others, we can generally free ourselves from this gigantic false ego. In the scriptures, there are two statements regarding the false ego. The false ego is the sense of self that wants to present itself in different ways. And it uses the mind in order to do that. The false ego is compared in one statement to an armored tank. Now you know what an armored tank is, it's just a big gigantic piece of steel and weighs tons and tons and tons. So getting rid of the false ego is like getting rid of the, one's armored tank. There's a kind of feeling of relief that comes when the false ego goes. So uh, this false ego is a big burden. Uh, Okay, so 
as long as has one has any form of pride, it's very, it's actually impossible to become humble and it's actually impossible to chant the holy names of the Lord properly. Okay. I'm going to read something which is from um, Madhurya Kandambini. Bhakti mentions in that second verse of Madhurya Kandambini, there are five anarthas, because we're talking, we were talking about anarthas in the previous classes. So anarthas may still be there, even on the third platform, or nishta. So five anarthas in bhakti, one is called Utasya, Uta, Utasa Maiji. Utasa Maiji, which means unsteadiness, filled up with puffed, filled or puffed up with enthusiasm. It's kind of like a false sense of enthusiasm that goes on for sometimes and then stops. Garga Tarala, thick and thin. One is enthusiastic, gets, gets enthusiastic about something, goes for it for a while, and then after some time, it's gone. Enthusiasm wanes because the enthusiasm was just some mental concoction. Like that. Uh, let's see here. Where else I'm looking for? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. I can't find. I can't seem to find the rest of these listings here. Hmm. There's one that's called Taranga Rangini. Taranga, Taranga Rangini, that means that uh, one starts to see that I'm making advancement by looking at what I have. Well, I'm getting everything I need. I'm, you know, I'm doing okay. People are offering me respect. I'm, I have everything material. I have a good position. And if one's a guru, they think I have so many followers like that. In other words, rather than judging or understanding that spiritual advancement is the purification of the heart, person who is afflicted with this consciousness thinks that my spiritual advancement is by how many how many disciples I have, how much money I have, how much projects I have, how much abilities I have. These are all external. These are all external. The, we judge our advancement in devotional service by how much we're showing the qualities of a devotee along with how much we're remaining fixed in our practice of Krishna consciousness. Okay. So these are some things we can think about. And so we have pride and we have giving respects to others and they work hand in hand. Sometimes devotees ask, well, what is the difference between humility and pridelessness? Basically, they're not very much difference. Uh, but there is some difference when it comes to function and not so much about qualities. Okay, so I'll stop there and uh, open it up for questions. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. Um, thank you so much for the nice class, Guru Maharaj. Um, yes, I feel that um, um, Pride is very difficult to get rid of. Um, remaining things, as you said, remaining things are easy to follow. Um, Guru Maharaj, I have a question. Um, like, uh, for suppose if um, anyone um, uh, anyone says anything to us and we feel bad about that or we get offended, 
um is that because of our false pride guru maharaj yeah to some degree yeah if someone yeah it is if someone says something bad about krishna or about the spiritual master then that's then if you become offended then that's good but for yourself yeah it's it's part of the false ego because you're not the body and what they're criticizing is something about your mind or your body that's all and it's not you you're identifying with the body <laughs> Mr. Maharaj. Just like sometimes we see devotees. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of an example. There is an example in the shastras. Yeah. That when a devotee is criticized, he he says, "Well, actually, you know, what you're saying is not is really incomplete there's much more to what you could actually find in me because i'm so full of faults that only the only th th couple things you mentioned are not enough i am so low that i have to look up to see down that's how low i am when uh Jagai and Madai were purified by the association of Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda. Lord Nityananda and Chaitanya, Lord Nityananda gave Madai a service. He told him to build a ghat near the Ganga. So would people before they could go into the Ganga, they could also take care of their needs using your ghat. That God is still there. It's called Mud I Got. So while he was building it, people were coming by and they were seeing, well, this is Mud. What a rascal he was. He was so bad. So they used to pick up rocks and throw it. And then he would get the rock and go back to them and say, here, throw it again. So yeah, a devotee, we might not be on that platform, but a devotee doesn't take offense if somebody criticizes them. Sometimes we examine, well, if that criticism is actually correct or not. Whether it's correct or not, it doesn't really matter so much, is that you can gain from somebody criticizing you. If somebody praises you, how will you gain? If somebody criticizes you, you can gain, you can overcome maybe some bad quality or some, some mentality that is not good. Okay, so uh, we have to see every situation as a purification um, uh, towards, uh, towards purification, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, yeah, but you have to understand how that's how that's working. So initially, it may not be so easy to see, but if you give yourself some time, pray to Krishna and ask, "Well, Krishna, you put me in this situation. What can I learn from this?" As Prabhupada said, "Do not blame the instrument of your karma." So if someone's doing something to you you don't like, your karma is coming back. That's all. It's coming back and you're you're thinking, oh, this person is doesn't know what they're saying. But actually you should think, well, maybe actually, you know, maybe I am like that, or maybe I did something to somebody in the same way and now I'm getting it back. Thank you so much. Now you can't be like that with your children. And if your children do that, then you have to straighten them out. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I request devotees if they have any questions or comments, they can go ahead. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, 
Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Shri Prabhupada. All glories to you, Maharaj. Uh, Maharaj, my question is how to develop quality of forgiveness. Like if somebody is continuously doing something wrong, we know that we are doing really wrong. It's not just because of our pride. It's like factual reasons. In spite of all our attempt, they are still not. So should we distance them, sir? Or like we should? How to really develop in that mode, like forgiveness, quality, and still have respect for them? Well, if is it is it directed at you, or is it just something in general that they perform that is not really affecting you at all? No, affecting uh, me as well, Maharaj, in that situation. Mm -hmm. Well. You could also say something, but how you say it is important, so you don't, you know, offend the person. You can't offend the offender, <laughs> and you become just like the offender. You can point some someone someone someone's mistake if you think it's wrong. And you can point it out, but you have to do it in the right way. That's the whole thing. Or you may do it in an indirect way, or through another person. But you shouldn't be offended. And we want you correcting them so they can benefit, so they don't commit more offenses. But you're not disturbed by what they do. The whole world is like that. <laughs> People, people offend each other all the time. A lot of times there is what is called miscommunication, not understanding, and therefore people assume things and the assumption causes them to uh, have a wrong understanding of the situation or of the person. So it takes some time to look at the situation and try to understand whether, whether I should correct it, whether I should go away from it, if you can, or I should just tolerate it. So there's, a three, there's three things. It's called forgive and forget. There's another one called forgive, but don't forget. And the other one is, the last one is try to settle the differences. These are the three choices you have. Forgive and forget can be a little dangerous because if you forget, then you might find yourself again in that situation. And again, you feel unhappy. Forgive and don't forget usually is the one that works the best because you forgive the person, but at the same time you don't forget. So you don't, again, allow it to happen. And the last one, if it's something that is ongoing or some person that is, you have to associate with, then you have to work out the differences by presenting the problem. You have a choice, these three. Thanks, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. That help? Yes, Maharaj, like we'll try, but like what happens sometimes in, uh, there are few like individuals always in life, like you try everything with them, try to like convince, like give the real facts, real information, but because of uh, like natures and like sometimes because of positions, sometimes because of some things, they still want to like harm you or like give you some kind of discomfort and they feel like enjoyment in that because of that situation. So I was just thinking like in that situation, it's easier to dis like distance ourselves with them and like not yeah. blend ourselves in that situation. It would very yeah, a lot of times you a lot of times you just distance yourself. Yeah. I mean people get divorced over that sometimes. <laughs> but uh, you know, so distance yourself from the situation.
That's forgiving, but not forgetting. Yeah. That helps, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you. If you want, I can send you some some printout that discusses this in detail. Please, please, Guru Maharaj. This is very important. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada and all glories to you. Yeah, this topic is very, very important. Um, to not be affected, I, I'm not sure. Um, sometimes, I don't know if it's the emotions getting involved. It, I can come to a point of not being affected only after I have had time. Sometimes I need a lot of time to reflect on the situation. I, it's not something that's immediate. And I don't know, sometimes I, I think that I'm not going to be affected. And then, I don't know, maybe I'm more emotional. But then it, I catch myself not being able to sleep or I'm mulling over it for, for uh, days and days until, and I pray about it. I, you know, I pray to Krishna and I ask for help, you know, especially I pray to you and Prabhupada first. And usually the, the result comes and once I can see it clearly uh, without the emotion involved, and then I can, um, I, I seem to not be affected at that point. Either I have to talk to the person or I have to like you said, um, it cut, like coming to forgiveness, uh, it seems like it, it takes a while. It's not something that's immediate. Maybe it's because I'm not um, advanced enough or my chanting isn't good enough. I'm, I'm not quite sure, but it's easier uh, now than it used people, to be. Yeah, generally people don't, if it's not immediate, it's not a disqualification. The thing is, if you're trying, as you already said, you're trying to think about it, reflect on it, pray about it, that's good. That's a process also. If you can, if it's immediate, then it's, then, you know, that's a different thing, but in most cases, it takes some time. Hopefully, then we, maybe we should, I don't know, Guru Maharaj, if we should distance ourselves until we have, we know what, how to respond to the situation because I, uh, one might commit offenses in the, in the meantime, you know. Yeah, um, you can commit offenses or you, you can put, put yourself in the same situation again and it'll happen again. Mm hmm. Mm. That you want to avoid. Mm -hmm. You have to understand, for the benefit of the other person, if they're offend, if they're offending you, they're also getting a reaction from that. Mm. So you don't want to you don't want to make someone's life difficult by allowing them to offend you. Oh, that's. A That's a very good, oh yeah, I, that's a very good way to put it. Very good way to, to look at the situation in order it's to, yeah, it's true. to overcome it. Forgiveness is one of, the, one of the main qualities of a Vaishnava. In fact, it ranks above all the other qualities. In fact, it is the, it is the main quality, especially of the Brahminical class. But, in, but for Vaishnavas in general, forgiveness is very, very a lofty principle. I'll, uh, I'll send it to uh, Lavanya, some stuff on forgiveness that I have. And you guys can read it over and maybe get some insight. Thank you very much, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, it's...
tolerance, forgiveness, patience. These are things we have to develop in, in order to live in this world. One who carries this stuff with them, just like I can give you an, a little personal experience. When I was preaching in Bhaktivedanta Manor many years ago, uh, one large group from another part of the UK had come. And so they arranged for me to speak to them. There was about 30, 40, 30, 40 people. None of them I, who I knew. And uh, we spoke on relationships between Vaishnavas. So at the end of the class, after we had a lengthy question and answer session, one lady comes up to me and she's a little bit distressful looking. So she said, Maharaj, I wanted to ask a question, but I didn't want to ask it in public. So can I ask it now? I said, sure. She said, yeah, I have this problem. I, uh, I have this one person, I can't forgive her. She did something to me and I can't forgive her. So my first question was, well, how long ago was that? And she said it was 25 years ago. <laughs> So I, I, you know, I wasn't sitting on a high seat, but if I was, I would have got, you know, I would have got injured because I practically fell over <laughs> when I heard how long she was carrying this, this uh, weight. So I tried to explain to her without getting into the details that, uh, you know, for your own benefit, you got to forget, <laughs> forget about it and push on in life. Otherwise, you know, it's just making you old and worn out and tired and miserable. Well, can you imagine carrying a grudge for that long? It's impossible to even conceive of. But that's a true story. I'm not exaggerating. Well, yeah, that I think that in, in families, um, I see this happening where uh, you know people walk away, but somebody said the wrong thing to them and they haven't spoken to them for 20 years and things like that. But, uh, <clears throat> and they, you know, they cause other people to suffer terribly. But uh, there was this one situation, I was, this is many years ago when I was uh, in the church, the, in the Catholic church and this priest was giving a, a sermon and it always stuck with me and I think it's very lofty and, and hope he, he would go to uh, the prisons and I guess give the last rites for people who were uh, going to be uh, killed on death row. And there was a, a man who had killed uh, this woman's parents. And uh, he so anyway, he was given the last rites and the priest saw the daughter of these parents outside that when he was going to be before the execution and uh, she was happy. And he, and he said, you know, and how is it that you're so happy about this? Because, you know, she had spoken to him many times and she said, oh, well, um, I'm happy that you gave him the last rites uh, because if you, if God can forgive him who, who am I not to forgive him? Uh, it was something to, yeah, it, something to those words. And she went, uh, she was able to see that prisoner right before he uh, was going to be executed. I don't know if it was a week before or something. And she went in and said, I forgive you. And he said, I'm very, he said, he couldn't even, he was crying. He couldn't bear the thought that he deserved to be forgiven by this woman. Mm. And uh, she said, no, if God can forgive you, then, then who am I? And uh, I just, I guess that, that sticks with me in very, very uh, difficult situations with difficult people. Um, Again, allow it to happen. I'm sorry, Guru Maharaj, I didn't hear that. That wasn't me. Sorry, Guru Maharaj. And so, 
that was just something that always sticks with me regarding forgiveness since uh, for if years and years. Hear, you want to hear a classic story, and this is one, I think that uh, there was a book written about this one. This happened about 15, 20 years ago, where one crazy guy came into the Amish community with a gun and started killing the Amish people. And of course, he killed a number of them. And then, uh, of course, he was arrested. And... But uh, later on, the Amish got together and, you know, the man came and, you know, he, he was actually quite, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sure of all the details, but none of the Amish held any, uh, what we say, uh, negativity towards him. They could understand that he was just sick and they forgave him for what he did. This was a classic case because not only one person was killed, but actually a group of people were killed. There's a book, I think there was a book written about this whole thing. I'm not sure and the name of the book, but I know this is a true story. It happened maybe within the last 10 years or so. That one is amazing uh, because when the authorities came, the, the, uh, the Amish said, you know, they, they didn't want to press any charges against him. They just forgave him. But I mean, it's the whole story. And I'm just giving a little bit of the essence, but yeah. Oh, you were, uh, yeah, there was uh, Sri Devi. Are you referring to the Amish thing, the school children? Yes, okay. Do you know anything more about it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. They came into a classroom and, and killed children. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Yes. Yeah, within a day or two, they issued a statement that they forgave him, yeah. If you can post some information regarding where you can get further information, this is a classic story of compassion and forgiveness. I had the good fortune last year to spend uh, six hours in the association of uh, a large group of Amish people at their home in Pennsylvania. Well, I went with about 10 other devotees. We all went together to meet them. And uh, yeah, they're very, 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 very personal and very, very God-fearing, very, very, uh, they're not very, uh, yeah, they have, they're interesting people, they're very interesting. After I left there, I felt, yeah, I, I actually learned something about personal relationships. And one man, he was one of the spokesmen for the community. We went there. He spoke to us for six hours, like, you know, like we were family members. He answered all our questions. And we spoke on so many things. We actually came there to find out, you know, how they, how they live so we could use some of their principles in Krishna in our Krishna conscious society. So was that the post, uh, Sri, Sri Devi? Yes, Guru Maharaj. Well, we, okay, put it on the chat so the bodies can see it if they want to learn more. It's just a classic story of forgiveness and its height, you know, amazing, actually, really amazing. Thank you very much, Guru Maharaj. I, I feel that uh, my whole life has been a lesson of learning how to forgive people in different ways, in different situations, um, and, and also to be able to tolerate criticism. You know, it, it just, if it's constructive, I can hear it usually quite well. <coughs> But if it's done with anger and rage at me, 
Um, and I've had devotees. Um, well, I had one devotee in particular tell me what was wrong with me and wrong with my service. And I wasn't doing this right. And I wasn't doing that right. And it, and, and this person said, you know, you can't hear anything. And I said, you know, you're not ready to hear anything. I mean, just blew up at me. And then later, um, I, I, I was, I calmed down and I was able to say to that person, you know, um, I can hear it. I can hear your criticism, uh, uh, but there's a way to say it to me. If you, it, you know, of course I'm, I'm going to, uh, not hear it well. Uh, if, if you're saying it to me in such a way that, that, you know, I, I feel stomped on, you know, like an, like a bug, but if you, um, if you say it to me in a, in a, you know, in a civil way, um, I think I can take it. And I, you know, um, that being able to tolerate criticism is, is very important too. Like, it's not like, I, I mean, if you are to chastise me, that's one thing, but sometimes when devotees chastise me, it's a little difficult. Um, if they're more advanced than me, I can tolerate much better, but if they're, on the same level as me spiritually, and they're being hypercritical. Sometimes I'm not patient, and I, you know, I know I need to learn something from that too. Mm -hmm. So, these yeah, are my yeah. lessons. Thank you. I recall our time together in uh, in Govardhan Echo Village. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> oh yes, Guru Maharaj. Yes. But everything was done nicely. Yes. And so I, I well, like I said, Guru Maharaj, if you tell me something, I always um, I'm able to hear it. What even it if mean? even if I'm de even if I feel devastated. Somebody uh, else. I didn't say it. Somebody else said it. Oh okay. Yes, yes, yes. And I and I supported them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you you were so gracious that you you actually thought, <laughs> yeah, maybe it is like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's I get embarrassed, but um yes, Guru Maharaj, my uh I and I and I've and I've said this many times, you know, sometimes when you grow up with someone, just that one person who gives you God consciousness, before my grandmother died, the one who grew up in a convent, she would say, forgive this one. She would tell me all the people I needed to forgive. She says, this one's crazy. This one doesn't know what they're doing. This one, this and that. And she said, just forgive them, please. God, you will will see this. I, you know, so... Uh, it was her, uh, the Lord speaking through her, I think. And I think those are my lessons in this, in this lifetime. So Good thank God you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. That was nice. Okay, we can stop here and uh, we can end with one round of japa. Uh, Guru Maharaj, uh, we have a question on chat uh, from Janva Mataji. Okay. Um, she says, Dear Guru Maharaj, I am proud when I read Srila Prabhupada's book and listening to his lectures. Is it good or bad? If you're proud about Srila Prabhupada, that's good. Prabhupada is so great that we're so fortunate. Not pride in oneself, but pride about Prabhupada. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. The devotees, if they have, uh, if you have any questions. Okay, can stop here. Let's do this japa. <laughs> And we'll end with one round of japa today. In fact, I would like to make this regular again. We uh, 
and got a little bit broken up, but I'm seeing that due to our present materials situation, which is going haywire, <laughs> devotees should be uh, taking more time for chanting, reading, and associating, especially for chanting and associating. So we want to chant in association more and more. Okay, and also offer your prayers to Mother Shamarani. Um, she was taken to the hospital a couple days ago. Uh, the latest noted news I got that she is getting better, but still, she's still uh, struggling. And tomorrow we will do our class with the Harrisburg devotees. So we'll suspend our series in Shikshastika and continue with that on Saturday. Okay, Jai Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita, Gadadara, Sri Vasari, Gaur Bhaktarindu. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari, Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, 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 Krishna, Hare, Krishna, Krishna, Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, 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 Krishna, Hare, Krishna, 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 Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, Krishna, Hare, Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. 
Hari Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Hare. Rama, Rama, Rama Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. 
Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare Krishna Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Rama Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Jai Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Gavinda, Tiranda, Sri Advaita, Gadadhar, Sri Vasani, Gaur, Bhakta, Vindam, Hariyam, Shankirtan, Ki, Srila Prabhupada, Ki, Gaur, Premanande, Hari 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 Go, Anchakalpatru, Mishchakrita, Sindhu, Vibhichakrita, 